Welcome back to 10 slide info's defense update series. In today's video, we'll be seeing more updates on the DEF Expo 2020 and also the recent happenings on the defense side. The first one is regarding the indigenous made light utility helicopter, which was designed and developed by HAL. This helicopter has got its initial operation clearance and it's open for production. The Indian Army is in desperate need for light utility helicopter which is a vital requirement for soldiers posted at the world's highest battlefield on the inhospitable Siachen glacier of Himalayas. Currently the Indian Army is depending on its vintage helicopters fleet which is Cheetah and Chetak and they have lived away beyond the threshold by more than 12 to 15 years. These helicopters were purchased from France and inducted into Indian Army over 40 years ago in 1971. And there is a need for more than 600 helicopters for the armed forces. The HAL's light utility helicopter is a single engine helicopter designed and developed by Rotary Wing Research and Design Center of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. And this has been designed for the civilian and military use. This chopper has a maximum speed of 250 km per hour and a cruise speed of 235 km per hour and a range of 350 km. Three prototypes have been built and cumulatively completed over 550 flights under various terrains and climatic conditions. And this includes a cold weather, hot weather, sea level and high altitude. And this is in compliance with the stringent certification and user requirements. As mentioned, the HA light utility helicopter received the initial operation clearance on February 7, 2020. The other point to note is that HL is also simultaneously working to manufacture 200 Russian Camo 226 helicopters in collaboration with the Russian helicopters company. Coming to the second update on the defense side, which is regarding another great achievement by an Indian firm. The JSR Dynamics has come up with the indigenous 180km strike range air-to-ground missile named Kagantuk, and the same has been displayed in the DEF Expo 2020. This missile is a guide weapon with excellent aerodynamic performance and a seeker in the front which has got the artificial intelligence to recognize targets. This missile is an air launch variant which when released from 12 km can travel up to range of 180 km. One of the variant can carry a warhead of 72 kg and the other one can carry a warhead of 146 kg. We need to see if government approves further production of this missile and helps in being inducted. Now coming to the third update, it's regarding the Bharat Dynamics Limited unveiling a model of new third generation anti-tank guided missile. And this is again at the DEF Expo 2020 which is happening in Lucknow. Designated as Amoga 3, the new man portable fire and forget missile has a conventional cylindrical body with 8 mid body foldable fins and 4 relatively larger aft fins for flight stabilization. The Amoga 3 has a comparatively simple configuration featuring a Bharat Dynamics developed smokeless, signature free, dual thrust solid rocket motor with thrust vector control and a dual mode which has the imaging infrared and electro optical seeker for terminal homing. The missile is fired in lock on before launch mode and can engage target by using either top or direct attack mode. The Amoga 3 ATGM houses an anti-armor tandem warhead which is claimed to be able to penetrate in excess 650 mm beyond explosive reactive armor. The weight class of the warhead has not been disclosed as of now. The complete missile system features an Amoga 3 missile and a tripod and a common launch unit with remote operation capabilities. So this was an update on the three various news on the defense side and also related to DEF Expo 2020. Thanks for watching. I'll upload another video with more updates on the defense side. Please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell button next to it. And also feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you.